When you look back over your impressive career, what are the top three memories that you cherish the most? Hugging my dad when I won the, the Million Dollar Classic. That's this one over here. That was in 1988. I won the Million Dollar and uh, there was a lot of controversy about me being in the tournament because I was a late entry and uh, you know it was meant to be for the top 10 players in the world and at the time I was not in the top 10 in the world but I managed to get an invite into the tournament and uh, I won it and on the Sunday my dad walking up and giving me a big old hug on the 18th green right after I, I knocked that putt in to win. That, that was a memory that sits in my mind forever and that's that's something I'll always remember. And the other one was the World Series of Golf. This one over here, when I shot 62 on the final day and I, I won that uh, World Series of Golf. That was a great moment in my life. You know, the other great moments I've had because of golf was meeting President Bush the first and then meeting President Clinton. Those were great moments in my life, you know, being part of the President's Cup and playing Playing golf on that team was great. There's been so many great moments. I, it's hard to pick which ones were the best, but the one that my dad hugged me on that 18th green was, it was just a feeling of accomplishment by two people that had the same dream, you know, and it, and it came true. So that was a great moment for me. Fulton, what do you have in your hands there? This was a trophy given to us when we played the President's Cup. I got my medal, I got the silver medal. We never got the gold. Americans beat us, they got lucky. But uh, this was a great honor, you know, and I'm so glad that the President's Cup is, is a good event now. It's gonna get better and better. And This was a lot of fun. This was, in nine, this was the inaugural President's Cup, and this was uh, when President Clinton was in the White House. Robert so Trent played, Jones. Yes, we played at the Robert Trent Jones golf course there in uh, Bethesda, I think it is. Yeah, Manassas. Manassas, that's where it is. There you go. Yeah, what was that? What was moment. that week like? I don't want to remember it too much. The week was great, but we lost. <laughs> so I don't want to remember it too much. I played against Phil Mickelson in the in the singles and the final rounds, and we we have our game, we have our match. And in those days, you had to continue playing because there was no such thing as a half. So we went back to the next hole and. It was the par three, the uh, 17th, and I got up, I had the honor, and I hit it in there about eight feet, and Phil had missed the green and chipped it to about 20 feet, and just before he hit his putt, Fred Couples had fortunately hit it to within three inches at the last hole to win the trophy, so Phil picked up his ball and said, we don't have to play, we've won the cup, so that was that. It was great, though, it was great to play against Phil, he's a competitor, and he's had a hell of a record, and... It was great, it's great. I think next time out the uh, international squad is gonna be able to do it. I really believe it. Well, Fulton, you're a champion golfer, a great ambassador for your country, South Africa. And I wanna thank you for being a part of Andy's Golf and Travel Diary and giving me such inspiration, direction, and uh, just real excited about going to visit your homeland. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, it's going to be fun for you. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, use it well, buddy. Use it well and have a great time in South Africa. It's a good spot.